our previous episode, we previously mentioned about open licenses. So we are trying to emphasize on it in, on take this me, episode. Deep dive. Like take dive. Well, before I move on, I'd like to introduce myself. This is Alafia Obama, and with me here, I have. Okay, moving on. So imagine you have a picture. Let's just say a picture, and you want to reuse the picture on a shirt, and you reuse the picture on a, on a shirt, and before you know it, lawyers are writing you saying you infringed on copyright, you stole intellectual property, you did this, you did that. And you'd be like, it's not. It's, it's, not, it's, not, that, it's not meant to be this deep, exactly. <laughs> so that brought about open licenses, which we'll be talking about majorly the Creative Commons license. So imagine, back to that imagination, imagine that, oh, you didn't get those lawsuits, that you had an intellectual way, a nice way, without infringing on any copyright. And you could even change some things. Maybe the picture sure. was like black, you change it to like purple, right. and then nothing happened. Not and you were, you were able to use somebody's work, somebody's work, the copy. You were able to copy it, then you took it properly using Creative Commons license. That is called, uh, that is what we are trying to talk about today. So it's kind of like so, a loophole into copyright. Exactly. The balance between copyright and copyleft. You get Left and the right, limited so kind of reuse. So open licenses refers to the practice of granting permission to the public to use. That's one. That's use. the majority thing, to use. Reuse and redistribute creative works without excessive restrictions. Yes, I feel this excessive restriction is where a lot of people have issues. Like, they just feel Creative Commons is without restriction. But this is, is without excess. So there are two restrictions. Like, most people are discouraged from using Creative Commons license because they feel it's just, they're just giving out your work just like that. But they feel to understand that there are, set, there are two restrictions. Just that it brings about this, should I say, inaccessible. That's the word. <laughs> Inexcessive restriction, something like that. So, <laughs> Why you say that she move know. on? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm moving on by saying there are actually things called intellectual property rights, such as patents, trademarks, yeah. copyrights, yeah. etc. But we are talking about copyrights in yeah. this in this session. Excellent. So there's copyrights where the copy yeah, for the it's way right. <laughs> where the copy has a right, meaning that the creator you are using the content of a creative work with you are, sorry, copyright refers to like the rights associated to a, a particular creative yeah, the work. right the creative owner over has ours. over their creative work. Exactly. So that's kind of like copyright. So like the right I create a work now, so Copyright gives me rights over my work. Ah, English can be hard sometimes. <laughs> so, and there is, and there is copy left. Copy left is okay, literally when the item is in the public domain. I think there will be an episode where I think some folks will talk about public domain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the cop the public domain just refers to where there is no intellectual property, where there is no copyright. So like down to everybody can side. that shit you want to do. Without being sued, you can use so it, it yeah. without giving anybody credit. credit yeah. So like, there's copyleft, there's copy, copyleft or public domain, and then there's copyright. So like, they're on two opposite sides. But now, Creative it Commons bridges the gap. Like, it comes in between, and uh, it doesn't just have to be left or right. It could be limited reuse. Yeah, yeah. Limited reuse. So, how has open license? How, how has it caught the challenges in copyright. copyright and intellectual property issues? That see, lawyers are trying. When we are talking about when we are referring to public, uh, when we are talking about copyright and 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 the US, because if there are no open licenses there will be a lot of a litigation lot, a lot. So, so copyright <laughs> so copyright gives like open licenses gives the permission for clear permission of reuse yeah. like i can reuse some a creative work oh, yeah, based on the particular license that the author has freely given yeah. you are not infringing on copyright mm -hmm. you, are, you are not doing anything against the law and another thing is 
flexible licensing yes. options. Okay, yes, because if you, when we go into the different copyright licenses, you see that there are, there are certain licenses where you can release your work. Like it's so flexible. You can I can choose to have my own condition. The condition I'm going to release my work, but on this condition, another person could release their work on a different condition. So there's this flexibility. So if I see this work, this work is released under this condition. If it suits what I want to do, I go for it. If it doesn't, so as not to infringe on your rights, I leave it and look for one that suits what I want to do. So there's this flexibility to it. Yeah, I feel we should also mention that uh, open licenses enables us to like prevent unintentional copyright infringements. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, that you just wanted a share, a picture. Like, you, you just had that know. idea of this. Oh, this artwork. Let me put it on a shirt. Yeah. Like it was not really intentional. So. The use of open licenses enable you to, to it's ex, it helps you, it propels your creativity. Yeah. And I think, yes, that's I wanted to add that it doesn't like restrict. No, a lot of people when they find out there are a lot of restrictions on this work, like it kills the creativity in them. Like I want to create something, but everything I'm trying to reference has this tight restriction. I'll be like, well, I give up. <laughs> but when I see licenses that gives me a flexibility to do something, I'll be able to like. Okay, this gives me at least a little access. I can use this work in a certain manner, and I use it as like a blueprint or like oh, like as a just something I can look up to to create my own work. And I release my own under that license, and someone else uses my work, and it keeps this line of creativity there. But when everything is just restricted, a lot of people give up on trying to create things. Wonderful points, Busola. I think this time we should just discuss about the license no 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 we should talk about like we should just like a recap of what we discussed in the last episode yeah. about how the open movement promotes accessible knowledge so the use of open license makes everyone happy, happy honestly yeah. like everyone, everyone happy. can access knowledge freely like even researchers that their, their research work that release other creative commons license mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're used for educational purposes. purposes. They are thoughts in the classrooms, and there's they are not infringing on anybody's rights. And, and and also there's this economic benefit it gives, as you mentioned earlier, like the increase in creativity. Yeah, it's actually, more creative work. Yeah, like, exactly. That actually improves economic value of of the creators the themselves. Industry. Everybody can actually like there's okay there's a license where you can commercialize where you can actually sell sell, yeah. sell what you use so there's this improvement in the econ in economic value and also it enables people to exchange cultures the world yeah. is evolving yeah. the world is becoming unified, unified. so exactly. the use of these licenses is just even promoting the the entire globe that oh so yeah, I, I can, can use, use I can use a work that has been created in, in Europe, in Europe like and in, modify it to suit the that will suit what I want to do here in Nigeria. And like, it makes it that easy. And, and also, it even enables us to improve on digitization. You know, last yeah. last uh, last episode we discussed on the importance of open knowledge institutions embracing digitization. digitization. So yeah. the essence. Dig- to be hard to digitize mm. when there are restrictive copyright laws on them like, <laughs> very, very like even the libraries will be handicapped ah. on trying to digitize because i can't just if i see all rights reserved there like i don't have rights to digitize that and but when i see creative common license they are a little bit lenient you know it it, it gives the library the size authority or the the ability to mm. digitize them and it promotes community engagement like participation from different communities and different cultural heritage institutions that that's what i just mentioned yeah. so now so now you are going to talk to <laughs> us about the creative commons license there are about six, six yeah. and we'll start by attribution by, by which is yeah. attribution now, one thing I actually love about this creative common license is that like there I feel there's yeah there's license for everything yes. like there's this so clear there's no excuse yeah, like there's not to like, not to release your, yeah. your work yeah like there's this there, there's there's a license for everybody mm-hmm. like there's even the most restricted that this is by anything that I have. It's, it's just so close that I don't know why <laughs> so okay the creative common license attribution is, yeah that that like attribution, attribution is by. common to all six attribution is basically I respect that you are the one that created this. And you I must acknowledge give credit, yes. 
to I give the credit to cre- you. To the so I don't I don't take it as my work, you know. Like I give credit that this is not my work, this is your work. And it's common with all six. So no matter what license you want to release it under, you are going to be attributed. Like it is it's only basically. it is only when the item is in the public domain. domain. Or you use yeah. the creative commons public domain, domain tag like, that they don't have to give you. Attribution. But like common code issues like even if it's in the public you domain, release it just... under CC zero mm-hmm. ah, PD zero. You say that it's in mm-hmm. the public domain. You, so you can excuse that one. Yeah, so, uh, but every Creative Commons license buy is a constant attribution. You have to attribute. So, and the second so is share like share like is so attribution share like describe it to our audience. Okay, it's more like I think that that gives a continuity to the use of Creative license and creative common license because share like is basically telling you after you've attributed me since by is a constant exactly. thing, you, you must you release, must release, release your work under, under the, the same, same license. license like so exactly. when you use my cc by sa license work <laughs> you should also use a creative <laughs> common cc, CC by sc so it's not like i use your work and then i'm now coming with all right reserved no like so it gives this continuity for creative common license because i see your work now i attribute to yes that's that's like a constant but then there's this sa share like you have to share it in black manner which i shared mine just no south africa <laughs> not south africa so attribution no no uh, no direct right, that's the third one cc yes. that's by sa no by nd yes yeah. so just describe it like okay non-derivative would be integrity of the original work yes you have to use it as it is like the the imagination (laughs) going back to your imagination yeah you are not you are not meant to there is also as i was saying there is attribution no derivative which is cc by nd so it is just for you to like keep the integrity of the original work and telling the person that see this artwork you cannot use it on a shirt Isn't yes, that? you are keeping it in its original form. In its original. So is either you create that same artwork? Okay. Yes. That, so I can't like use that like in a book now, like as a picture in a book. I think you can use it as an artwork in a book. Yeah, then you should not use. I feel like you should not use it on a shirt. Just like you can't change anything about the picture. Oh yeah, you can't change and, the tone. Like you know, we gave a, 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 you can change it from black to purple. Okay, now you yes, can't yes, even yes. change it to purple. You have to use it in its original format. Or them say something was released in Yoruba language. No, you have to use it in Yoruba, Yoruba language. language. You, sh- you can't translate it. It's just giving that originality to it. The way I release it is the way you should use it. Don't modify it. Don't edit it. Don't change it. And also, That's there's indie. attribution non-commercial. Commercial. That means you can't put it on a shirt to sell. Sell, yes. You can put it on a shirt to wear for yourself. So. I don't know. But <laughs> you can't make money. You can't make it, money it, off yes, it. That, that's the it. essence of the CC by, by NC. So and you can you can modify it. You can edit it. Just that you you can't use it for commercial purposes. That's basic. Okay. So there are combinations of all these licenses now because we just we mentioned CC by CC by NC. No, there's still we've SC. not mentioned non-commercial share like yeah. That's like I'm gonna have a combination of these ones now okay yes yes yeah, then there's now the non-commercial share, share like, like, and, like and there's also non-commercial non non-derivative that's very, but before that's we talk very about that let's talk about non-commercial share like mm-hmm. so just describe it for our audience so non-commercial share like is just adding cc by sa and cc by nc and creating a license out of it so we said share like is releasing all the same license non-commercial is non-commercial <laughs> <laughs> so basically you have to release your work under the same license by which I released it and you should not use it for commercial purpose. Like the share alike part. Too. The share alike. Like any derivative must be shared under the same license. That's S-A-N-C. N-C. N-C. No. N-C-S-A. Oh? It's CC by N-C. C. Okay, N-C-S-A, yes. So it, you have to share it under that same license, um, N-C, CC by N-C-S-A and then it shouldn't be for commercial purpose and the last one which is the most most restrictive i really don't like this particular license yeah, but we can use oh, oeers can use it does yes for educational purposes. purposes yes or research purposes that's um cc by ncnd non-commercial non-derivative so the creator wants to maintain street control, street control. but it's the... still it's still more flexible than all rights reserved and copyright exactly. even as restrictive as ncnd is it's still more flexible than because you can still use it 
just that you you just use it the way it is no no (laughs) no commercial no like just use it you can the fact is you can use it with copyright you can't accept the permission or you go through whatever process that is involved in so that's basically the six creative common Mm -hmm. items so So, and you just choose one that suits you to release your work will you give them a recap a recap okay let's see we said there were six right yeah cc by Mm-hmm. which is a constant to all six so attribution. attribution shouldn't be like the fact that nobody will know it's you it's not an issue everybody will know give credit to the original give credit to the original like that's, that's constant basic. basic then we have as a share like for like continuity in cre- using creative common licenses you keep you keep sharing it under the same license which you copied then we have the cc by nd which is non-derivative you don't change it in its original form you don't edit it you don't translate it you don't change a picture, a color, or anything, just use it as this. We have CC by NC, non commercial purpose. You can use it, but you shouldn't derive any profits from it. Then we have the combination of all these licenses. We have CC by NC, SC, that's non commercial share, like meaning that you must release it under the same non commercial share, like and you shouldn't use it for commercial purposes. And then yeah. we have NC, ND which is the, the like, most restrictive, restrictive one, of we all, yeah. so we can see that coming a long way from public domain where no rights reserved and then um copyright all rights reserved so creative common kind of bridges a gap in between Just them limited reuse. like limited reuse so you don't have to be too restrictive on your work and if you don't want to use your work to public domain you have to open it so so let's yes. just talk about the african continent yeah. You know I'm passionate about Africa. So are there organizations in Africa that make use of Creative Commons licenses? Finaida. <laughs> yeah, let's start for ourselves. Yeah, we release our works on the RCC by SA, right? Yeah, so we have... 2.0 yeah. sometimes. 2.0. Sometimes we... Like, oh, see, we are not going Ex- to... Do- no, it's stated they accept except um specifically stated right yes it's, it's stated except specifically stated release our work under cc by sa 4.0 and, and the african storybook project they yes, used so sh- they sh- you thought you were giving yeah me some i think they they, the they create children's storybooks something okay. like that then they create like um ideas or pictures you can use if you like i want to change a um child storybook children's storybook i want to write a storybook for children <laughs> i can i can easily go there and get pictures from there you know i'm using but i think it's cc by sa right sure like so my storybook should also carry cc, no, I think by. It's, CC by. it's just cc by yeah, so what about that's... the african city labs also they african use cc by, by. You yeah. just have to give them attribution, attribution yeah so there are a lot of organizations the in Nike, nigeria in africa this guy is also the Open Foundation West Africa. They yes, also use yes, CC by yes, yes. So, so their Africa is coming up. Don't let us forget the Wikimedia project. Ah, Wikimedia works is. on Wikipedia, for instance, yeah. are, re- are released under Creative Commons, Commons licenses. licenses. Yes. And there's also something called Wikimedia Commons. So works there too are also we released on under, <laughs> under Creative Commons license. Yes, so in the yes. open movement, there's so much to learn. Yes. And, and then there's collaboration shorts. because I think now Wikipedia also adopts Creative Commons licenses. Yes, yes, yes. So there are collaborations between these organizations. Yeah, I think we should just end by restating the importance of Creative, Creative Commons, Commons licenses. Just yes. as you mentioned, we have we are encouraging collaboration and creativity creativity. and we are increasing access to knowledge yes because when there are or when there are limited restrictions like you can easily as like a student now that is looking for something on your research work like instead of all rights reserve and you see under a certain creative common license like easy accessibility to your work i don't really have to start seeking permission from the author to what i just respect the license by which you release your work on that and and also africa has to inculcate the 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 trendy the not trendy is not trendy the the concept of open education and creative yeah. commons licenses give us the, the opportunity to yes. to propel that open that education, innovation yeah. and also facilitates innovation and research like i've mentioned earlier there are some 
research publications that are released with the use of Creative Commons licenses. When we say CC licenses, we are referring to Creative Creative Commons Commons licenses. CC is like an abbreviation for Creative Creative Commons. Commons. And also, Creative Commons licenses enables us to to preserve our cultural heritage. And it also... In forms of digitization. Like, exactly. (laughs) <laughs> <Since you're remaining. laughs> no, no, I know we've been talking about digitization and things yes. and copyright, all right, reserve. We really give you the flexibility to digitize works. But creative common licenses, like there, there are certain flexibilities you have to digitize works. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like we said at the beginning, to so the issue of creativity, it encourages creativity. Like I can take inspiration from previously published works and can so serve as a creative bank the open advocacy yes. movement for authors to publishers organizations so that you should try to use your works under creative commons like you're not taking you're not taking your originality away from that exactly work. Yes. open license is just promoting yes. you're not you're, you're, you're not taking away your ownership of that work you know like that's one thing i respect to critical that's by being attribution constant. like that like if that attribution was not yet could have it could be like a different story yeah, but so that attribution is... Wow. Yeah, no one. Renowned author. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, your book, when are you releasing you it under Creative, Creative Commons? Commons license, license, right? Or you are sticking with the money, you, have, <laughs> you love the... Actually, I have, I have plans to do that. I can do maybe a... You have science. plans. Yes, I can do maybe a science. Yes, digitize it. Like, yes, and support me. <laughs> what do you need support? You just have to release it. Uh, no, I like, have to digitize it now. Like, I'll digitize it then so that you can access it online. CC by NC. Okay, so Busola is encouraging other authors. <laughs> Am I speaking? Yes, 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 <laughs> encouraging okay. other authors to release their works under Creative, creative Commons. With that, we we'll come to an end with yeah. to today's episode of the Free Knowledge Africa podcast. So I'm going to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. And if you learn something new, you should drop a comment. See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.